before we move on from improper integrals, I, I wanted to make another video that would help to really make it clear exactly what you can do with improper integrals, the types of integrals you can evaluate. All right, so let's say we wanted to find the integral from a to infinity of this f of x. Okay, all of this is f of x. How would we do this? Well, when it comes to discontinuities, that's what improper integrals are for, or at least type 2 improper integrals. It's not just infinite discontinuities, it's any kind of discontinuity. If you want to integrate over any kind of discontinuity, that's what you use in a type 2 improper integral for. Okay, so what would this integral be? Well, the idea is you're going to break this up into pieces, however many pieces you need. Okay, so we're going to start at A, but we can see that A is an endpoint, but the function is not defined at A. We, we can specify an integral like this, starting at A, even though the function is not defined at A, but we can't actually evaluate the integral, do, a, do a, an evaluation with one of the limits being A, because the function is not defined at A. So what we're going to need to do is, we're going to need to take the limit, we start off by taking the limit as t approaches a from the right, and the lower limit is going to be t. Now, the upper limit's not going to be infinity. We need to take a look and see where what's our next stopping point. Now, you might say it's going to be b, but b is also a discontinuity. Now, potentially, the function could be defined at b here, to where it's like continuous, the, fun, the curve is continuous approaching b from the left. If that's the case, if the function is continuous all the way from A to approaching B from the left, then we could put B, but it's not. It's not continuous all the way up to B. There's a, there's a hole here. Like, even if the function was defined, this still wouldn't be continuous coming into B. So what do we do? We can't put, we can't do this because the, we have a discontinuity at B here. We can't put B. So what do we do? You might say, well, okay, we're going to, we'll take the limit, some, a, a limit, we'll put a limit here. The limit approaching, you know, the function, you know, we would normally put like this as t, right? But we, we already have a limit here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick any point wherever. Let's say here. We'll call this e. And what we're going to, any point we want, and put e here. Okay. Then we're going to say the limit as t approaches b from the left. Now we're going from E to T. Like that. Okay, so what you can see is with these two integrals, we've got the area under, th we've got this net area. Would, would you agree? This entire, this, a, a net area. So this area minus this area minus this area. The net area from A to B, which is what we want. That's what a definite integral is. Okay, so now we get to, we have an infinite discontinuity here. And what we do is we say, we're going to say the limit as t approaches b from the right, then going from t, and our next stopping point is going to be c, but we have another discontinuity there, so we need to pick another point. In between these two, we'll do like that. Now, next, we've got the integral from f to c, another discontinuity. The function is defined at c. Okay, so since it's defined at c, we can integrate just from, we can do this. No, because it's not continuous at c. Like, this wouldn't. We, this wouldn't, we're, we're thinking about this as the area under the curve. We can't use this value. So we need to say the limit as t approaches c from the left. Okay, and now next, we're going from c to d, but 
at D, it's continuous coming from the left, the, the curve. Approaching D from the left, the curve is continuous. When you think about this from the, as, from the perspective of area under the curve, we don't need to use a limit here, a, a type 2 discontinuity here, a type 2, no, a type 2 improper integral, at least as, as coming, approaching D from the left. So we're just going to say the limit as T approaches C from the right, and we're just going to say D. Okay, now we have d to infinity, but again, we're going to need to do this. We're going to need to say the limit as t approaches d from the right of, and we're going to pick a point, any point. We'll say g, going from d to g, f of x dx, plus now we've got a, we, we finished with a type 1 discontinuity, right, going from G to infinity. So this is the type 1 discontinuity, the limit as T approaches infinity of G to T. And there you go. That would be the area under this curve with all these discontinuities, right? That would be you're subtracting the areas below the x-axis, but this net area. You see? Okay, what about this? We want the integral from negative infinity to e. So what, what do we do here? Well, one of the things that's different about this curve is I've included some points like, like a kink here and a vertical slope here. So, so how, how does that relate to improper integrals? Well, okay, when it comes to an improper integral, these pieces have, really don't have anything to do with improper integrals. This would be, it, it's like, because this is points of continuity, it, but you still, I wanted to put these just to remind you that you could still have a case where, like, it's like an absolute value. Okay, if you had to integrate over an absolute value, then what you're going to have to, you're still going to have to probably break this up into two separate integrals. I think absolute value, you always would across the kink. You would have a certain function going from wherever to the kink, and then you do another integral going from the kink to whatever. So you still might have to break this up into pieces, but in the context of improper integrals, you, you're not, you don't, this is not a discontinuity. Improper integrals are about going off to, x is going off to positive or negative infinity, or you have to integrate across di any, kind of, any kind of discontinuity, any kind. So the discontinuities are infinite, removable, and jump. So, okay, with, with, with that in mind, we're not going to consider like point A. So we're, we're here, we're just going to integrate. So we're going to do the, we're going to start with the limit as T approaches negative infinity of T to, okay, but we need to, we have an infinite discontinuity here at B. So we need to pick a point, an intermediate point. But just to illustrate, we don't, we don't have to pick A. We could, let's say, so this would be F. We'll do that. And then we'll go, okay, the limit as T approaches B from the left of, we're going from F to T. Right? We just, we just ignored the A here, the point A. We still might have to break it up into separate integrals because of this, but it, this has nothing to do with the improper integral is what I'm saying. Okay, so we, we're, we've gotten to the left of B. Now we have an, another infinite discontinuity to the right of B. So we've got the limit as T approaches B from the right. And then we're going to go to, so here's a, 
a vertical slope, but again, same thing. This has nothing to do with improper integrals. So, okay, now at D, the function is defined at D, but it's not continuous approaching D from the left. So we're going to need to pick an inter intermediate point. I mean, let's just pick C. It doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to pick C or maybe with a vertical slope. That might cause issues because if you need to break this up into separate integrals anyway, I mean, yeah, let, let's just say, let's do this. F, G. So to G, okay, plus the limit as T approaches D from the left, G to T. Okay, now getting to E, we need to say the we, the limit as T approaches D from the right of T. Now we can just go all the way to E, right? The curve is continuous all the way to the end point. And, and that's it. So we've got this, the net, this net area. Okay. So I hope that gives you a better insight into what exactly you can do with both type one and type two improper integrals.